The last common ancestor of all life appeared 4.2 billion years ago. According to new research, life flourished on Earth several hundred million years after our planet was formed. Scientists have determined that the last ancestor common to all living organisms was a microbe that lived 4.2 billion years ago. The DNA of all living organisms today has many similarities, suggesting that all life descended from a single common ancestor called LUCA, last universal common ancestor. In a new publication in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution, an international team of scientists led by researchers from the University of Bristol has determined that the organism that gave rise to all life on Earth could have evolved just a few hundred million years after it formed planet, much earlier than previously thought. Moreover, it was more sophisticated than previous ratings had suggested. Luca is the hypothetical common ancestor from which all modern life descends from single-celled organisms such as bacteria to blue whales and giant sequoias. Luca represents the very beginning of the tree of life, before it split into the groups recognized today, bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes. The research team compared the genomes of a diverse group of 700 modern microbes. Scientists looked for common features to identify which ones appeared first. While the analysis does not reveal how life originated, it does suggest that the complex cellular organism evolved as early as 4.2 billion years ago, just 400 million years after the Earth formed. This microbe had a fairly large genome coding for about 2,600 proteins, fed on hydrogen gas, H2, and carbon dioxide and had a rudimentary immune system to fight off viral invaders. Our study showed that LUCA was a complex organism, not very different from modern prokaryotes, but what's really interesting is that it had an early immune system, showing that even 4.2 billion years ago our ancestor was engaged in an arms race with viruses, he said. Said Davide Pisani, CEO author of the study, our work combines data and methods from multiple disciplines, revealing insights about the early Earth and life that could not be obtained from a single discipline. It also shows how quickly an ecosystem developed on early Earth. This suggests that life can flourish in Earth-like biospheres elsewhere in the universe, emphasized Philip Donoghue from the University of Bristol. Scientists have looked for LUCA before. In 2016, researchers led by William Martin from Heinrich Heine University Dusseldorf used a similar approach of comparing known microbial genomes and determined that LUCA was probably an anaerobe and a thermophile, i.e. a thermophilic organism. They also proved that it drew energy from hydrogen gases. This combination suggested that it may have lived near hydrothermal vents. These studies did not determine when LUCA evolved. The research was based on variable but known rates of genetic mutations in microbial species, as well as the rate of gene transfer between them. Thanks to this, a kind of molecular clock can be created. By constructing family trees showing which organisms likely evolved from others and tracking changes in genes, Scientists can roughly estimate when two adjacent branches diverged and thus determine the age of their common ancestor. Martin's team's analyzes took this approach of tracking changes in single genes common to all descendants. In the new work, scientists focused on five sets of paralogs, proteins or fragments of DNA or RNA of common origin that resulted from duplication. Such duplicates were found in many bacteria and archaea, suggesting that the separation occurred in LUCA. Tracking whether a mutation occurs in both copies of these genes or just one makes it easier to determine the time of their duplication and, therefore, 
the age of their common ancestors. To learn more about Luca, the researchers tracked 57 gene markers in 350 bacteria and 350 species of archaea. They separately tracked the evolutionary patterns of individual genes and gene families in these bacteria and archaea. By comparing the evolutionary histories of individual genes with those of species, they could better determine which genes had been duplicated, lost, or had undergone horizontal gene transfer. From this, they deduced some features of LUCA. In addition to feeding on H2 and CO2, the researchers also found a gene that may have protected the organism from ultraviolet radiation, suggesting that the microbe may have lived in surface waters, where it captured CO2 and H2 from the atmosphere, rather than at the bottom near hydrothermal vents. As Martin's team found in 2016. On the other hand, they also found traces of an enzyme that is commonly found in thermophiles, which means that LUCA could also have developed in a deeper environment. Researchers also found elements of the CRISPR-Cas9 defense system, the same one that inspired the development of the most widely used genome editor. LUCA had this early immune system as a way to avoid viruses, explained Edmund Moody, lead author of the paper. This, in turn, suggests that a diverse ecosystem of microbes and pathogens existed as early as 4.2 billion years ago.